thank you. Are you ready? Yeah. Coach, if you want to go ahead and give an opening statement, then we'll open up to questions after that. Yeah. Uh, tough, tough finish. Um, it's been uh, it's been a real grind, but I'm really proud of our group um, for all that they've endured in the process of rebuilding things for us at Oregon State. And uh, you know, we talked about the days of us just being competitive are are now behind us. You know, after year two of our our rebuild, um, we gave our chance ourselves chances in a lot of games, including tonight in the second half. Um, after a very poor offensive performance in the, in the first half. Um, and we were just a play or two away from, from that thing going down uh, to the wire. Credit UCLA with uh, one of the best defensive teams in the league for a reason. Um, and then, and then uh, Andrew's kid throwing some real daggers at us uh, throughout the game, but especially down the stretch. So proud of the group. And, um, you know, we're, we're going to just keep Keep forging ahead. We know what we've got to do moving forward, and, and uh, you know it's our challenge to, to get there. All right, we'll open up for questions. Raise your hand, and we'll bring over a microphone. We'll start over here in the middle with John. When you got a player like Andrews who's shooting like that, um, obviously you're spending a lot of energy trying to play catch up. How did that feel for you guys, uh, Jordan, Tyler, as you're out there on the court uh, in, in that matchup? Uh, you know. It was tough. Credit to him. Um, there was a couple times where we, we cut the game pretty close, and then he came back and answered with a big shot or a good pass to a dumb or a shooter. You know, shots like that they're demoralized. You know, when you try to fight back, claw back, and then you're almost there, and then one miscue on defense, one relapse. You know, and then it could get out of your hands just like that. So it's definitely tough, and um, got to get back um, to the drawing board and figure out how we can fix that moving forward. Oh uh, yeah, like like. Jordan said, you know, we're trying to claw back, you know, make it close uh, after after struggling a bit in the first half, and he had some really big shots, so credit to him. He uh, he had some tough ones, but um, we've got to get better defensively because there were times that we closed up underneath him with our hands down, and this is after he's hit three, four, five. You've got to make a shooter a driver. Um, you know, we mixed up. We went man-to-man -man a lot and still – back-to-back -back possessions, gave up threes in man-to-man, -man, I think one to him and one to Stefanovic on a little bit of a flare where we lost him. So um, we've got to get better. We've got to get more discipline. We've got to get tougher as we continue to build this thing. Obviously, we know there's areas that we've got to address um, this spring. Um, but um, I love that uh, we fought. This is a team that manhandled us on the glass up in Corvallis. Um, we gave up a few, but we really battled them on the board. So. There's some positives out of here. The second half, when we ran offense and executed and moved the ball, we scored against them. You know, we scored 35 in the second half. And I don't know if the first half was just a little bit of jitters or, or, or what. It didn't help that there were a couple fouls on Tyler early, but um, these guys battled and they're going to learn from this. And, and I know it's going to be great character, continued care to be a character builder um, moving forward. Back with Ben first. Yeah, Ben Parker, Ben Parker, CardinalSportsSports.com. Just for coach, just uh, you guys got within I think five points in the second half. What did you guys do to, to to narrow the lead as much as you guys did, and why weren't you guys able to maybe encroach even closer than you did? Yeah, uh, you know, obviously didn't get off to a, well. We got off to a good start. It was like eleven to ten us, and then we went on a drought, which we've done multiple times this year, where it was dribble, 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 hold it, hold it, hold it. Clock's running down. Someone's got a hero up. We've learned enough lessons about that, and I thought I thought we would maybe avoid that in the post postseason. Um, and then I got to give credit to UCLA; they stymied us. They trapped this guy a few times. We didn't get to our spots to expose it. Um, but then the second half, we played with much more energy on the defensive end, um, and then we ran offense. We executed. We executed out of timeouts. We got him first play of the second half. We executed our sets, and and that got us back in. And then we just had a couple little possessions where we went away from it, thinking, OK, we're rolling now. We can play a little bit more instead of sticking to turns of the ball, screening hard, cutting hard. Um, and then defensively, we, we, we lost a couple guys. Loved, loved. We weren't rebounding quite as well as I wanted to start the second half. We put in Justin Rochland, seven rebounds in the second half, tip our cap to him for his effort. Um, but we flowed offensively, we executed, and we played with much uh, more energy on the defensive end and on the glass. That's how we got back into it. 
and then just a couple possessions where we didn't rely on our defensive principles and they made us pay from three. Michelle, yeah. Michelle Gardner, errors in our Republic. Um, Coach, this is for coach and players, but particularly coach. This is your last ever Pac-12 game. Any thoughts on? For the next couple of years. You know what I mean. <laughs> yeah, I know. The Pac-12 as we know it. Kind of your thoughts on that. Yeah, you know, I purposely didn't want to try to think about that a whole lot. Um, I'm kind of over my disgust and frustration, and uh, I, I want to celebrate. Uh, in fact, when I did the pregame talk with the network off the bus, I finished with thanking everybody that uh, behind the scenes, behind the camera, and in front of the camera, um, because it was a hell of a ride. And it's a shame that we're in the position we're in, to be quite honest. Um, and I'll probably lament on that stuff now that, that we're done, but we wanted to keep our focus on the present. And it's, uh, it's a damn shame. You know, we say damn this, damn that, because of beaver dams. It's a damn shame. Um, but it is what it is. We got to regroup, we got to retool. Um, and and I love I love where we're going to take our program, and um, you know we're excited about where we're going, um, and and that's that's where what our motivation is going to continue to be. Coach over here, Nick Orsini with KEZI. You mentioned some things you need to work on in the spring. What are some of those things that you're looking to do? Uh, inside presence, defensively, offensively, rebounding, shot blocking, scoring. Um, we need we need some more help out in the perimeter. Um, we need to shoot it better. We need more guys that can play, and then and phys physical athleticism, um, and and those are the things that we've got to address. I mean, we we had I, I don't want to count and throw out a number and be wrong. We had a lot of close games, like three four possession games this year, and when we've got what we need, we win we win the majority of those, and we're not quite there yet, and we're going to need some help. We're going to need some help with today's landscape. Um, you know, with, with, with NIL and all that stuff. Um, we got things rolling early at Oregon State, and, and then we had a year where we were devastated by injuries, year three. And we didn't panic, and we reached out to Beaver Nation for help. We needed a new locker room. And uh, some former players and Charlie Sitton brought a bunch of guys. And, man, they got the momentum going. We redid our locker room. You saw what happened after that. Now, we're, now you know, we, we messed up a couple years ago after our run. We messed up that next year. We're committing to our young group to rebuild it, and we know we'll get there. We need Beaver Nation to jump on board again and have our backs um, because we've proven a couple different times now that we've rebuilt this thing and, and, and we're taking the challenge on uh, to get there and, and get there now that we have two years under our belt, get, get there right now. Good? Good. Go Beavs. Thanks, y'all. Thanks. I'm oh, sorry. Just, uh, I know your daughter played under under Tara Vanderveer at Stanford. Just kind of thoughts on Tara breaking the Tar. record and just your relationship with her and just reacting to that. Yeah. Uh, so fired up. Thanks for asking that. Uh, my daughter absolutely loved her experience at Stanford. Um, got out of sales and marketing to get into coaching because it's in her blood and because of the inspiration um, that she got from, from Tara and the rest of their staff. Uh, wrote her a note after she broke the record, um, you know, and – uh, we're very close with her, and I hope she holds that thing forever. I'll just say that. And, and, and she's done not, – I'm not just saying for the women's game, not just college, uh, college basketball on both sides. I'm talking college athletics. She's an incredible lady and in, an incredible humanitarian, um, and we all know she's, she's, she's Tara, man. She's, uh, she's, she's one of the best ever. All right, thanks. Go Beavs. Thank you, guys.